In my previous video, I calculated the amount of energy contained in Link's portable battery, and today we're going to use that info to predict how long a Zonai contraption will be able to run for by finding the power of various Zonai devices. Before we do that, however, I want to address some comments I received on my previous video. The first comment I received was from user Wing of Silver. They pointed out that we can't really call these units of energy jewels since they don't use SI units for calculations. User StephD1674 suggested that we call these units Minas, and I completely agree. Finally, user, uh, let's call them HP. User HP pointed out an incredibly silly mistake I made in the previous video. I forgot to account for the stabilizer's use of battery, so let's just do some quick recalculations to figure out how many minas are actually in the battery. So in the previous video, we established that it takes 129.042, not joules, but minas of energy for a fan plus stabilizer contraption to be raised three carts into the air. Now, previously we thought that that took 14 pixels of battery, but over the 259 frames it took for that contraption to rise three carts into the air, we found that two pixels of battery was allocated to the stabilizer. So that means the fan only used 12 pixels. Why is this important? Well, because the fan was the only thing pushing our contraption into the air, the fan was the only thing exerting energy into our system to be able to push it into the air, and thus only the energy use of the fan was calculated in our potential energy equation. So now it's just the same thing we did before, except instead of our fan being 14 pixels, our fan is 12 pixels. So, we take 12 pixels divided by 26 pixels, and that comes out to 0 0.46. Now if we just multiply that by 100, that's just 46% of our battery. So if we know that 46% of our battery is equal to 129.042 minas, then we can go ahead and use that as a conversion factor and say 100% of our battery times 129.042 minas divided by 46% is 279.59 minutes. So, that's just one battery. So, if we take 279.59 minutes and multiply that by 16 full batteries, we get 4473.46 Four, six minutes in Link's entire battery. So now that we have that out of the way, I want to talk about power. When referring to power in the international system of units, we use watts. And wattage is pretty easy to understand. Watts are just a unit for the rate at which something consumes energy. We can define watts as being equal to joules over seconds, and so that means we can also define joules as being equal to watts times seconds. This means that when plugged in, this 8 watt light bulb is burning 8 joules every second. Now, what does this mean for Tears of the Kingdom? It means that if we know how many minutes of energy are being consumed over a certain amount of time, we can find the power of various Sonai devices. So let's start by finding the power of a fan. So all we gotta do is give it a good smack, and then time how long it takes for it to drain one battery. So now that we have our time, calculating power is as easy as saying 279.59 minutes divided by 19.23 seconds. And that gives us 14.54 minutes per second. This is important because now we can predict how long our Zonai devices will be able to last. Let's say we want to use our good friend, the hover bike. If one fan consumes 14.54 minutes per second, then that means a device with two fans on it is going to consume 29 minutes per second. So if our power is 29 minutes per second, and we have a total energy of 4473.46 minutes, then all we have to do is divide 4473.46 by 29, and we find 
that our hover bike should be able to run for 153.84 seconds off a fully maxed out battery. So let's test it out with our trusty friend, the hover bike. So that was very wrong. There are two reasons I can think of as to why this didn't work. Reason one is that there is more battery than actually shown in the battery indicator. Or two, there is a multiplier applied to the battery consumption based on the amount of Zoni devices that are on your vehicle. Theory number one is easy enough to test. If we take 4473.46 and divide it by 14.54, then we find that a single fan should be able to run for 307.67 seconds on a fully maxed out battery. So let's give our fan another good smack. So that was pretty spot on. So theory one is out of the window. So that only leaves theory two. Now it's pretty easy to figure out this theoretical multiplier. All we have to do is measure the power consumption of two fans and divide it by what should theoretically be our power consumption. So all we have to do is measure how many seconds it takes for two fans to drain one battery. So now that we know that it takes 12.82 seconds, it's pretty easy to calculate our power from there. It's just going to be 279.59 divided by 12.82, and that gives us 21.8 minas per second. And now if we just go ahead and divide, we're running out of space, go ahead and divide 21.8 minas per second by 29 minutes per second, then we get a multiplier of 0.75 for our power consumption. So now that we have our modifier, let's put it into action. Let's say we want a device that uses three fans and nothing else. So we take 14.54 times three, and we get a raw power of 43.62. Now we got to multiply 43.62 by 0.75 to find our adjusted power, and we get a power of 32.715 minas per second. And now we just divide 4473.46 by our new value of 32.715, and we get 132.7 seconds. So an entire maxed out battery should be able to run a three fan contraption for 132.7 seconds. But interestingly, the contraption keeps going far beyond that time. So because of this, we now know that the multiplier is not linear or set. So after a little bit of calculating, and by calculating I mean entering numbers into websites, uh, I determined that this was the natural logarithmic regression of our multiplier. So you can see here, at 2, it's 0.75, yada yada. 
0.3, it's 0.67, and so it keeps going. So using this, we can very roughly predict how long our Zonai devices are going to be able to last for. Let's say we want to find how long, say, uh, five fans are going to last for. So this will be our multiplier for our power. So after doing some quick calculations, we find that with five Zonai fans, it should be able to last for one minute and 41 seconds. And sure enough, when we test it, we are only one second off from the actual time it takes. I am going to dub this phenomenon Avery's Law because I like having things named after me. And that's about it. See ya.